United by Innovation. This is how the 66th Brno International Engineering Fair could be characterized. It uniquely connects industry with universities, state-of-the-art science, and prominent figures from various fields. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you inspiring meetings over the next few days, and I look forward to our cooperation. The entire trade fair was dominated by digitalization, robotization, and the use of artificial intelligence. Industry leaders cannot be absent from such an event. The company we visited not only has a top-notch product range, but is also a recognized leader in its field. Welcome to the MDJ stand at the 66th International Engineering Fair in Brno. As for our exhibition, this year we are focusing primarily on the energy sector, where we are presenting our high-capacity battery storage connected to a charging station. The company MDJ was founded in 1993, so we have more than 30 years of history. Our company's goal is to implement industrial automation in all areas of industry. It was here that MDJ won the prestigious gold medal last year. The award goes to a battery storage system with significant technical and economic benefits. A long service life, high performance and many additional features primarily intended for industrial companies. Peter Ulechny and the company MDJ, congratulations! Our company is presenting battery storage systems at the trade fair in Brno with battery types that are slightly different from those commonly available in the Czech Republic. The main difference is in service life, safety and other features such as capacity, performance, etc. The main difference is that while batteries commonly available in the Czech Republic have a service life of around 6,000 cycles, our batteries offer 25,000 cycles. Concerning safety, they are non-flammable, non-explosive batteries. They provide greater power than their capacity alone would suggest, offering customers what they really need for smaller installations. This is the final product we offer. It is manufactured entirely in Slovakia, so it is not about buying and selling something. The entire research and development and production process take place in Slovakia using lithium-titanium cells. As for the sorting, everything is done by our systems and can be adapted to our customers. Although it was originally developed as a battery storage system for electrical energy from photovoltaic power plants and other sources, it can also be used to regulate reactive power. For larger companies, we can compensate for maximum quarter-hourly consumption so they do not have to pay fines, etc. I would like to present another possible use for battery storage where we offer outsourcing for manufacturers of charging stations for electric cars. Where technical conditions are suitable, charging stations can be installed by any company. The problem is that suitable conditions are mainly found in cities and larger centers. If the technical conditions are unsuitable, we offer manufacturers and technicians the opportunity to collaborate in the installation of battery storage facilities. We enable them to install their equipment, even in places where the technical conditions are unsuitable due to lower power consumption. We will ensure the storage of electricity and, if necessary, we can provide high-power charging. The Federation of Mechanical Engineering of the Slovak Republic also has a regular stand at the fair. We are pleased that our member companies, including MDJ, are responding to current trends and challenges that are shaking up the world, 
such as electromobility and various forms of energy use. There are many challenges, as evidenced by the 1,350 exhibitors from 40 countries. Many of them offer beautiful products, portfolios, services and innovations. I think there is definitely a lot to see at this trade fair. And we would be delighted if you stopped by our Federation of Mechanical Engineering stand while walking through the various pavilions. Congratulations on your successful presentation and we look forward to seeing you at the 67th International Engineering Fair in 2026.